Hey everybody, it's the Yellow Chili. Welcome back to our Europa Universalis Let's Play. This is episode 2, and we just finished up uh, the war against Volgast. Well, uh, no, Stargard, I'm sorry, and Statin. Uh, we haven't really finished it up yet. We've vassalized Friesland, but we can't even take a single province because aggressive expansion is gonna kick our butt. Um, I just uh, decided that we're gonna... Um, Bear with the war exhaustion. We can also reduce this by a two at the very least. And um, we're going to try improving relations with a couple of countries so we can at least take one province because we really need to take one. We're going to sacrifice our alliance with Volgust for this. And in order to make some more money, we can still loot these provinces. And the Curia Controller has picked a golden bull, Prince Elector, by virtue of the powers granted to him by God. The Pope has decided to bless us in acting the following golden bull. Immensa Eterni Day. This golden bull has the following effect. Institution embracement cost minus 10%, institution spread plus 25%, and enables cardinals spread institutions. That is really good because that means the renaissance that starts started in Ur Urbino will be a lot faster arriving at our place up here. So, in order to uh, not lose too much money in this war, we're going to continue looting these two provinces they might actually peace out early because they all there they also get this modifier the call for peace Diplomatic insult. A careless turn of phrase by Prince Elector Frederick II has greatly offended the Magdeburgian bishop Mollifying him will not be easy without losing face. We can either not forget this and we get a diplomatic insult CB on Magdeburg, or we can ease the tensions with which would increase our relations with everybody by 60, which is incredible at this point. Because these are these are all the countries that are um, around us, and it means that our AE will not kick in as much. So let's see what that does. This relation has been improved enough. So let's double check. Every year aggressive expansion wears off by a little bit, so we're, it looks a lot better right now. What is Berg? Is this Berg? This is Berg. Just Berg. Okay. We're gonna improve with you guys too. We're gonna withdraw this guy because it doesn't make any sense. Brunswick is our rival. We can't do much with them. Uh, we can... Uh... Magdeburg is fine. Lubeck is always a pain in the ass. They're always the first ones to join a coalition. The last ones to leave, in my opinion, although they have the weakest army. We have a high liberty desire. That is totally fine, because we will improve relations with you guys later on. Warriors do not read books. With the war taking the focus of every capable and productive person in the nation, there is a lot less time for frivolous activities of musicians and poets. And even the best of poets is no better a soldier than a common farmer. The sword is stronger than the book, and technology cost goes up by 10. Or we can just lose 5 prestige. They just need to be whipped into shape. Sounds like something that a Prussian guy would say. I really don't want technology cost to go up. I didn't actually check how long. Maybe it would have been just like 10 years, and I think the next level is only due in like 13. But that'll be fine. Is there still anything to loot? Yeah, great. We will have to wait until December, or let's say January. Then we'll see if enough AE has worn off to... in order to be able to annex Statine without having to fear coalition. Like, later on coalitions are so much fun. I think you should also be able to use the coalition CB the other way around, being like, hey, you guys formed a coalition, screw you, I'm attacking you, all of you. That would be really cool. No, I don't want to declare war on Berg. I'm going to sue them for peace. Raymond, Brunswick, Cologne. Yeah, we're going to do that. And we can enact a government reform. Let's see what we can do. We can curtail noble privileges for national tax modifier plus 10. Or we can strengthen noble privilege for national manpower modifier plus 15%. I think we're going to go with the manpower. We can get the money elsewhere. 
And we are looking quite good right now. Because also, the more manpower, the more gain you have uh, per month. Hungary has inherited the throne of Croatia. Now they look exactly like they used to in EU4. So they now have coastal access. And... Oh yeah, we can't... Uh, seriously? They now have the personal union with Austria. That puts us in a very comfortable position. Because Austria is now the one and only ally we have and we need. Austria is now influencing brigands. Okay, this should be fine here. Um, Bremen, Brunswick. Okay, Bremen. Let's do not Hamburg, but Hamburg's probably also in on this. We're already improving Bremen. How about Hamburg? Yeah, Hamburg is also in on this. What we could also do, we could try hiring this guy with improved relations. That's really good. Because that will... Oh, only 2.5 per year, unfortunately. Or exhaustion is high, we're gonna have to reduce that. Austria has claimed the title Defender of the Catholic Faith. We laugh at their pretensions. I don't care, to be honest. I mean, I am Catholic right now. Influencing nations, yeah, they want to make sure they vote for them in the HRE vote. Brunswick, Cologne. Oh, Brunswick is really bad. Oh, there are the... This is crap. We don't need that. We need to improve with Cologne. What we could do right now, we can uh, disable our fort and reduce maintenance to save some money. Because there's nothing that could actually happen. It's only these two provinces that are left. Also move everybody back here. Yeah, I think it's probably easiest to just wait until uh, December. Monthly war exhaustion, that is really bad. We can't do that. This is going to lead to a coalition. Nice. How much do they, does that give them? 19. So as soon as we're... 20 plus, it doesn't matter anymore. Brunswick, Dittmarschen, Goslar, Oldenburg, Verden. Verden is probably important. It would be nice if these guys started would start to peace out. They can't really do anything about these rebels. Yeah, okay. 
This will be enough. All right. Great. We got one province and we got um, a new vessel. And we need to improve relations with them so they pay us money every month. Because as long as they're disloyal, they won't pay us any money. Who are we going to set as a rival? Probably Brunswick because they have rivaled us. We're going to make these guys drill and freeze this to 100 again. Who's the general? Okay, it's our leader. Okay, and we're gonna um, we're gonna start fabricating claims on these guys. Since the the fate of Neumar can't happen anymore because it was taken over by Poland, which puts us in a very uncomfortable position. Okay, you guys broke your alliance with us, so we're gonna rival you right about now. They're allied with Bohemia now, that's totally fine. Yeah, it would be really cool if we could get a personal union over Austria at some point. <laughs> It appears they're at war down here. With Bosnia and Serbia. What kind of war is this? The Austrian conquest of Donji Kraji. Oh, this one. Yeah, they're probably doing this for Hungary. Austria is gonna get really strong in this game. Why would you do that? Okay, hold on. I've got to look something up. I don't think they're supposed to demand unlawful territory. It says the relationship has to be 100, 100 plus, but it definitely is. Yeah, we're gonna say no here. It took us a lot of effort to get this territory. Okay, Austria have embraced Renaissance. That's not too bad. So we now get the Unlawful Territory modifier with all nations of the HRE. Why are we losing money? Oh yeah, he's uh, 053, he's okay, I guess. Gain a church? Or 243? 243 isn't insanely good it's nine i'm gonna say we're gonna go with the church and see what happens yeah we're gonna be in a personal union but i think we're gonna be able to get an heir before that nice our, our leader now has a better fire skill from drilling okay can we afford another advisor i think we're gonna wanna um I don't think we can afford the prestige guy. What do we have here? Land maintenance modifier, that's always nice. And we need to increase our military power. Yeah, look at Walgust. I think they lost their entire army. We're gonna start fabricating on them. Who are they allied to? 
Sonic Order, really? Don't they usually rival each other? That's funny. Okay, anyways, but uh, they're also allied to Saxe, Lauenburg, and Oldenburg. Not too bad, and we have a vassal now. If we can take out Saxe, Lauenburg, and then move over here to Oldenburg, we can probably take him out. They haven't, oh yeah, they also have Teutonic Order. It's gonna be difficult. Okay, we can make a state here, and we're gonna do that. Is that one of their cores? It isn't. Great. Are we not getting war? Up yeah, we're, we're even still getting war operations. Okay, let's look for uh, our next target. You're only allied with Brunswick. That could prove to be interesting. Yes, and I'm aware we're losing money. That's the way it is. The last jousting tournament. We can feel it in the wind. Soon our equestrian elite will be nothing more than a dream remembered as the chivalrous tradition dies out before the onslaught of modernity. The world is changing, but for now, for one last time, let the Knights of Brandenburg ride. Forward to glory, which will give us morale of armies plus 10%. Yearly army tradition plus one, prestige plus 0.5. We lose 30 administrative power, which is totally fine for that. Th 16 ducats and 30 splendor. We're gonna do that. Especially the prestige is quite awesome because we still have this. Oh, we don't. We don't have the unlawful territory modifier anymore because we turned this into a core. How many. Rebels are gonna rise up here. Only 7k. I think we can probably do this. Let's see how much that army there will uh, reduce this value. Yeah, we're gonna do that so this doesn't go up too much. Austria calls us to arms. Are the our faithful allies requested that we come to their aid in the Burgundian conquest of Fribourg against Burgundy. A band Flanders and Holland. This is a defensive war where we need to help our ally. We're allied with Saxe, Lauenburg and Ferrara. Interesting. Give us 10 turns to prepare. Aragon has laid claim to the throne of Naples. That is cool. Wait, they're not in this war. The only interesting province, but they're not in this war. Okay. We're gonna try going there. I don't actually think they need our help. But we are gonna wanna at least siege something or, or engage some army. So we get some war participation and we gain favors with them. Okay, I'm gonna reduce the speed here. And we're gonna turn on allow friendly armies to attach. Because we could be in trouble if uh, Burgundy decides to attack us. Burgundy doing anything? You guys got some rebels. Who's that? Holland. Okay. Where are they going? I could try something here.
War ally has claimed these provinces? What would that be? Austria has nothing here. Right by England? Oh, England is in on this. Oh, shit. These two are gonna be a problem, guys. We're gonna probably gonna have to play the colonial game. I'm gonna be really pissed if someone starts attacking us now at 42%. They tell us about the event of the Shadow Kingdom, where among the possible options, Austria went with the Emperor must decide, summon the Diet as their choice of action. An incident in the Empire has begun. While the Kingdom of Italy is still formally part of the Holy Roman Empire, it has in many ways turned into a Shadow Kingdom, with the Italian states acting independently of the Emperor. The failure of successive emperors to restore imperial authority in the region has also left large areas under control of states that outright reject imperial authority. By now, the question for many telling states is why they should allow the Emperor any authority over their lands. Now this means we're gonna have to take a choice here. We must reign in the Italians, but this is not gonna go through. Because it's only 20 out of 77 and most people are like, time to abandon Italy. We're gonna go with this too because most of the princes have decided for that. We don't want to be on the other side. Come on, guys. 42%. Over one-third. Of course we get a disease outbreak. Colonial Order and Riazan have made peace. We've won the Siege of Luxembourg. Great job. Let's try to take Trier. that no oh, Friesland that's great what's our war participation 19% that's not too bad wait weren't they oh they're on our side I am an idiot I thought they were against us Take some more provinces and just loot them. This is actually the time to attack these guys. So let's just hope Austria makes peace ASAP. Fabricate another claim on Walgust. We can't, we have one. Well, zoned maybe. Visit from some shady people. A few slightly shady looking characters have appeared at our court offering their service to our Prince Elector. They claim to be willing and able to do things that any proper ruler would never deign to do publicly. An offer we can refuse actually. Uh, it is an offer. We want spy network construction.
Ugh. It doesn't move at all. Well, at least we're looting some stuff. Danzig, no, nobody gets military access, period. What's our aggressive expansion like? Yeah, if anything, we can only take one or two provinces from them anyways, so... Another disease outbreak, great, I love it. Urbanization. While only a small portion of our population live in cities, the growing prosperity of the burgers is attracting an increasing number of people from the countryside. Some cities are growing so quickly that existing problems in terms of sanitation and overcrowding have gone from troubling to catastrophic, according to the burgers. The poor have taken up residence outside the city walls, where filthy suburbs have sprung up and disease thrives. The burgers find this situation, this situation intolerable and are now requesting that the state step in to provide help, both in terms of resources and enforcement of rules outside of the walls. Only this way can this increasing urbanization actually lead to something good. Oh, that looks bad. No, we're gonna attempt to improve conditions. I mean, we get uh, tax and Altmark and Statine for um, ducats. That's really good. Which uh, makes us gain money again. For a month. Okay, can we get something other than a disease outbreak? Participation is now 22%. I'm expecting Austria to owe us like maybe 10, 15 more favors after this war, which would be really good. Like this time is not at all wasted because um, we couldn't really conquer anything anyways because our AE is so high. Our Chancellor reports, the Shadow Kingdom. It is time to abandon Italy. Austria loses 20 prestige and 20 imperial authority. Italian nations within the HRE that have been reigned in will remain in the Empire. Italian nations that have not been reigned in will leave the Empire. Now let's see what that means. Interesting. Florence is still part of the Empire. So is Trent. And so is Geneva. But... Switzerland is not... Oh, they are. It's just that most of Switzerland was conquered by Savoy. Interesting. Yeah, so um, now the Germans are alone in their empire. Almost alone, that is. Okay, Friesland is now doing really good. Um, they like us a lot. They're, uh, they are, they're actually paying 0.5 ducats every month. That's really good. We can annex them quite soon, which means our first um, idea group will be exploration. Just what you'd expect to find as England, you come to North America for the first time and surprise, the Germans are already there. What, we're being attacked by Flanders? Go ahead, man. Danzig accept the people Teutonic Order. Teutonic Order, Teutonic Order will renounce the claim on Memel. Teutonic Order will... <laughs> Interesting. They declared the war. <laughs> How Danzig's allied with Poland, right? Oh, shit. This game is not going well, guys. Let me tell you. Finally, we're in the positives. But, oh well. Even if this game is not going well, it would be boring if everything went to plan, right? What's been occupied by... This is what I hate. They just walk around all of your units, all of your territory, just to siege some province on the other side of the map. And I will take revenge for that, you filthy little bastards. I know. Brandenburg has been occupied by Burgundy. You will suffer hard for that. I will set you all on fire personally. And let you burn to death. Thank you. First of all, we're gonna go here and here.
take these three provinces, hopefully. National Epic. Our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about Frederick I. The legend says that in Brandenburg's darkest hour, he will return to our nation and deliver it from evil. Regardless of the truth in that statement, we could use this in our propaganda. Now, we can either choose to get plus one yearly prestige at the cost of uh, a one-time ten admin power and six ducats, or not do it and lose five prestige. Well, what is, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. We need prestige. Gregorius the 13th is loyal to Milan and he's the new pope. All right, great. We've taken these provinces. The curia controller has picked a golden bull. Prince Elector, by virtue of the powers granted to him by God, the pope has decided to bless us in acting the following golden bull, Christiana Pietas. Golden Bull has the following effects. Development cost minus 5%, tolerance of heathens plus 2. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna go here. Yeah, they're never gonna be able to do that. Yoo-hoo! hoo where are you guys? We pay you a visit. You sieging my fort? Great. Let me show you its advantages. Hey there. Thanks for coming to my capital. I'm just going to assume they're going to go here. Apparently they're not. Okay. Oh, they're going to go here. What are Austria and Hungary doing? This is the only war you guys are fighting and I can't even see your units. Five air, that's 12 points. Good choice to not take that other guy. Are we still married to you? No, we're not. Okay, sounds good. Austria, what the hell? And Hungary, where are you? Hungary is doing some stuff here. Where are the Austrian troops? That's what I want to know. This can't be all. England accepted peace with their former enemies Burgundy. They will only pay war reparations. Interesting. Clergy condemns a philosopher as a heretic. A prominent natural philosopher is forwarding new claims that contradict religious truths. Clergy demands that he be stopped and turned over for punishment. Either way, this will cause great turmoil in the realm. Wow, we're gonna lose one stability regardless? Well, in that case, we'll take the technology cost thing. <laughs> 
Finally, Austria. Good job. Well, I was hoping to get this war over with before I end the episode, but apparently uh, Austria doesn't want to make peace and doesn't want to fight despite starting this war. So, um, I guess uh, we have to finish this in the next episode. If you enjoyed this, please uh, like, uh, leave a comment and share the video. And uh, if you think I'm doing a good job, please subscribe to the channel. It'll greatly help the channel. And um, then we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.